62 while 으면서 무며소스 howtostudycorean.com below is a list of vocabularies to be used in this lesson vocabulary nouns 일정 means schedule 앞문 means front door 뒷문 means back door 기념품 means souvenir 기념비 means monument 학업 means studies 사안 means issue matter 무단 means doing something without permission 상반기 means the first half of the year 하반기 means the second half of the year 사계절 means four seasons 관광객 means tourists 영상 means picture image 동영상 means video verbs 갈다 means to change to replace 갈다 means to grind to sharpen 꾸집다 means to pinch 사타 means to build up to stack up 기념하다 means to commemorate 뒤따르다 means to follow to go after 진행하다 means to progress 누르다 means to press to oppress to defeat 잘하다 means to grow up 횡단하다 means to cross 판매하다 means to sell passive verbs 쌓이다 means to be stacked build up adjectives 흐리다 means to be cloudy muggy adverbs and other words 적발시 means if caught 문득 means suddenly introduction in this lesson you will learn how to say that one does two or more actions at the same time you will learn about 면서 and 며 can be similar but also how they can be different let's get started to do two actions at the same time 으면서 when two actions occur simultaneously you can place the two clauses in the same sentence connected by 으면서 면서 is added to words where the stem ends in a vowel or if the last letter is 을 and 으면서 is added to words where the stem ends in a consonant except where the last letter is 을 let's look at a very simple example 저는 밥을 먹으면서 공부했어요. I ate rice while studying. As you can see, the meaning of 으면서 is to indicate that eating rice and studying occurred at the same time. Common translations for 으면서 when used with verbs like this is us or while below are many other examples. 저는 영화를 보면서 콜라를 마셨어요. I drank cola while watching a movie. 학업을 진행하면서 직장도 다녀요. As I progress continue my studies, I also go to work. 이 기계를 돌리면서 땅콩을 갈아요. As you turn this machine, the peanuts get are grinded. 도움이 필요하면 이 배를 누르면서 말씀하세요. If you need help, press this button and speak at the same time. 눈이 길에 계속 쌓이면서 길이 점점 미끄러워져요. As snow piled up, gradually, on the road. It gets more and more slippery. 우리가 거기에 가는 길을 몰라서 지도를 보면서 앞에 있는 차를 뒤따라가고 있어요. We don't know how to get there, so we are looking at a map while following the car in front of us. 이 행사에서 지난 10년의 성공을 기념하면서 이 동영상을 보겠습니다. At this event, we will commemorate the success of the last 10 years and watch this video. 저의 여자친구는 운동하면서 운동하고 있는 다른 남자들을 항상 쳐다봐요. My girlfriend always stares at other guys when she is exercising. 다음 주에 부산에 가서 좋은 추억을 쌓으면서 재미있는 시간을 보내자. Next week, let's go to Busan and pile up good memories while we have a fun time. 음악을 들으면서 다음 주 일정을 세웠어요. I listen to music while I set up plans for next week. Earlier, I said that. 으면서 is added to a word where the stem ends in a consonant, except where the last letter is. 을 you might be wondering why. 으면서 is added to. 들 above, the original word is. 듣다 to hear, to listen, the addition of. 으면서 causes. 비극 to change to. 을 you might want to revisit the irregulars in lesson 7. It is possible to attach. 으면서 to adjectives as well, the meaning of 으면서 
in Korean is still the same, but adjectives inherently do not occur as a verb does. As such, the translations of as, or while, are sometimes inappropriate when 으면서 is used with adjectives. Instead, the speaker is indicating that something has the properties of both adjectives described. For example, 이 음식은 매우 면서 짜요. This food is spicy and salty. 오늘 날씨가 흐리면서 쌀쌀해요. The weather today is cloudy and chilly. 그 기념비가 아름다우면서 흥미로워요. That monument is beautiful and interesting. You might be wondering about the differences in the sentences above and the following sentences using 고, 이 음식은 맵고 짜요. This food is spicy and salty. 오늘 날씨가 흐리고 쌀쌀해요. The weather today is cloudy and chilly. 그 기념비가 아름답고 흥미로워요. That monument is beautiful and interesting. Their meanings are quite similar, and you don't really need to distinguish them. I haven't distinguished them in my English translations. However, the use of 으면서 gives the feeling that the two descriptions are more interrelated and connected, whereas the use of 고 just simply provides two descriptions. Again, I don't feel like you need to distinguish these. Much like how you wouldn't need to distinguish the following two sentences in English. The food, while being spicy, is also salty. The food is spicy and salty. It is also possible to attach. 면서 to 이다 Just like with adjectives. 이다 Is inherently something that does not occur as a verb does. Instead, the speaker can indicate that something is one thing, while also being another thing. For example, 그 사람은 저의 부장이면서 친구예요. That person is my boss and, while also being, my friend. 그 사람은 의사이면서 교수입니다. That person is a doctor and, while also being a, professor. 요즘 핸드폰은 전화기이면서 컴퓨터예요. Cell phones these days are phones and, while also being, computers. When a person does something for the majority of his her childhood, we often use the phrase I grew up doing in English. For example, I grew up playing hockey. I grew up listening to that type of music. Or simply, to indicate the location that you grew up, we would say, I grew up in Canada. To create these phrases in Korean, you can use the word 자라다. to grow up, in combination with 으면서. For example, 저는 하키를 하면서 자랐어요. I grew up playing hockey. 저는 아빠랑 같이 하키를 하면서 자랐어요. I grew up playing hockey with my dad. 저는 그런 음악을 들으면서 자랐어요. I grew up listening to that type of music. Comma. Oftentimes we want to express that a person does an action while in some sort of state or position. In other words, to create these types of sentences, I studied while laying down. I watched a movie while sitting. I ate while standing up. Remember. You learned how to create these types of sentences in lesson 17 by attaching 아어서 to these types of verbs. For example, 저는 누워서 책을 읽었어요. I lie down and read a book. 나는 앉아서 쉴 거야. I'm going to sit down and relax. 저는 줄에 서서 순서를 기다렸어요. I stood in line and waited for my turn. If you attach 으면서 to these types of words, the meaning is different and probably not what you want to create. For example, if you said, 저는 앉으면서 공부했어요. Remember, 앉다 means to sit, as in, going from a standing position to a sitting position. Therefore, the sentence above indicates that you studied while going from a standing position to a sitting position. Technically you could do, and say, that, but 99.9% .9 of the time, that would not be the meaning that you were going for, comma. 으면서 has another usage that is different from the usage described thus far. In this usage, the acting agent of the sentence does both clauses, but the clauses oppose each other directly. It's typically used when the speaker is talking about another person, saying ugh, he does this, but then does that. For example, 그 여자가 식당을 열고 싶다고 하면서 요리를 못해요. That girl says she wants to open up a restaurant, but she doesn't know how to cook. 저의 와이프가 외국 브랜드를 좋아하면서 한국에서 만들어진 제품만 사요. My wife likes foreign brands, 
but only buys products made in Korea. 그 사람이 한국에서 살면서 한국어를 할수 없어요. That person lives in Korea, but he can't speak Korean. 그가 저에게 기념품을 사준다고 하면서 아무것도 안 샀어요. He said he would buy and give me a souvenir, but didn't buy anything. 그 사안이 급하다고 하면서 그냥 앉아 있어요. He said that this issue is urgent, but he is just sitting there, tilled up. To can be added to 으면서 In these cases to provide more emphasis or stress to the situation, I will discuss to and how it can be added to more difficult grammatical principles like 으면서 In lesson 107, that's it for 으면서 But I would like to talk about 으며 and how it can be compared to 으면서 Before we finish, full stop, full stop, while 으며 으며 is a shortened form of 으면서 in theory 으며 can replace all of the example sentences above that show two actions occurring at the same time. For example, 저는 영화를 보며 콜라를 마셨어요. I drank cola while watching a movie. 학업을 진행하며 직장도 다녀요. As I progress continue my studies, I also go to work. That being said, it is much, much more common to use 으면서 in these types of sentences, especially when two actions literally occur continuously at the same time. For example, the following sentence, which indicates that peanuts are grinded continuously at the same time that the machine turns, would be much better said using 으면서, 이 기계를 돌리면서 땅콩을 갈아요. As you turn this machine, the peanuts get are grinded. Therefore, I recommend you to use 으면서, when indicating that two actions or descriptions occur simultaneously, but be aware that technically 으며 can also be used to have this function as well. 으며 has another meaning that is not included in the usage of 으면서 oftentimes 으며 is used to simply list or connect two clauses that have a similar idea. For example, 한국이 사계절이 있으며 겨울이 너무 추워요. In Korea, there is four seasons, so and winters are very cold. 이 제품은 가장 빠른 컴퓨터이며 한국에서 만들어졌어요. This product is the fastest computer, and it was made at Korea. 저쪽으로 가면 앞문이 나오며 이쪽으로 가면 뒷문이 나와요. If you go that way, you will see the front door, and if you go that way, you will see the back door. 주식이 더 많이 떨어질 수 있으며 이는 한국 경제에 안 좋은 영향을 미칠 거예요. The stocks could drop more, and this could have a bad effect on the Korean economy. 이 제품은 한국에서 매우 유명하며 이 제품을 사러 관광객들이 한국을 방문해요. This product is very popular in Korea, and many tourists visit Korea to buy it. 우리 회사가 상반기에는 그 제품의 개발을 진행하며 하반기에는 판매를 시작할 거예요. In the first half of the year, our company will proceed with the development with that product. And in the second half of the year, we will start selling it. In these examples, the meaning of 으며 is quite similar to 고 which you learned in lesson 17. All we are doing is connecting two clauses that are related to each other. I find that using 으며 is common in formal situations where instructions are given to a large group of people through overhead broadcasts or signs. For example, you might see the following on a sign telling you not to jaywalk. 무단 횡단이 불법이며 적발 시 벌금을 내야 돼요. Jaywalking is illegal, and so if you are caught, you will have to pay a fine. If 으며 replaced 으면서 In the examples shown earlier that show two clauses opposing each other, the feeling is more closely associated with this function of connecting two clauses that have a similar idea. For example, if we look at this sentence, 그 사람이 한국에서 살면서 한국어를 할수 없어요. That person lives in Korea, but he can't speak Korean. The use of 으면서 as shown earlier is to describe that the two clauses oppose each other. However, if 으며 were used to replace 으면서 here, it would be more likely be describing that the two clauses are simply connected. For example, 그 사람이 한국에서 살며 한국어를 할수 없어요. That person lives in Korea, 
and he can't speak Korean. Notice the difference between my use of but in the first example, using 으면서 and the second example, using 으며 in the second example, the speaker is just connecting two ideas that are related to each other. However, in the first example, the speaker is specifically indicating that these two clauses oppose each other. In the end, the result would normally be the same, but you should be aware of this feeling. Therefore, because 으며 has another meaning that is not included in the usage of 으면서 to list or connect two clauses, and 으면서 is more commonly used to indicate that two actions occur at the same time. It is difficult for me to say that 으면서 and 으며 are identical. That's it for this lesson. For more info, please visit howtostudacorean.com.